Alright. Yeah. See, this is how I started making beats. I think, yeah. This is what happened, yeah. In school, we was doing um, info technology thing, yeah. Mm. We was doing that in school, wasn't it? And there was this one brother always showing off with his grind beats and that. He had bare man in the corridor surrounding him. Like, they're loving these beats and that. Like. But I can't lie. Like, I found the you. Car. Man kind of hated on him still, kind of hated that like, he was getting all the share of the beats and that. So man jumped, man just jumped on the thing. I said, my aim was like to just be better than him, innit? That's all my point was, innit? But then he took other directions, yeah. Nah, I love it still. Car, I love, you see, when I listen to beats, I listen to beats, innit? When I listen to the tunes, I just listen to the beat, innit? Like, if the beat is shot, I'm not listening to the tune, innit? So. so then obviously, man just expanded YouTube tutorials and that. Then you learn yourself as long, like, the more you do, the more shit you learn. And then, yeah, I taught a couple bands as well. You know, just spread it out, innit? What you know, man. Got to hear them, get me, from West London. Get me, producer out here, get me. The wavy one, you get me. One of the favourite beats that I've made, uh, let's look. Uh, elevation, yeah, 410, mad up. I like that. So, so. Each of them got different balances to it, you know. Like, it keeps your head bopping, that. Like, so. Yeah, I like that stuff. So. That's all I'm about, innit? As, lo as long as the beat keeps you moving, then I'm happy, you know. Basically, elevation, that's what happened, innit? Obviously, I think it was Shadow, he came down from Birmingham. He came to Chetman, so then. I said, I said, nah, you, we might as well put some beats. And then we started. And then I heard that, I heard that sample in it with the keys. So then I thought, nah, we just strapped something around it. And then, yeah, the beat was done. I was really feeling the beat, he was feeling the beat. And then after, when I met Honcho, when he came down to Checkman, I showed him the beat straight away, connected. Straight away, he said, yo, let me quickly go and lay the verse. I got something. He went laid it, took it away. Yeah. And then, yeah, man. Me and Shadow made the beat, innit? So. Let's look here. Yeah. Obviously, Zef Ellis, aka, you know who it is. He called me, he was like, yeah, I went, like, what's this drill, General? What's, it, what's that? So, obviously, I explained him what tempo it is, where we got it from. And he goes, yeah, I'm coming around your side, so I want you to back me. And show me how to make this drill thing, innit? Cause I wanna know what's going on. Like. I see this new style of spitting, I like it, innit? So then, obviously, the other producer, Mazza, um, obviously, funny enough, that day as well, he messaged me saying that we need to do something like a group for the upcoming producers, and that that's the drill mob thing, and that. So then we met at 12's house. And then we was trying to show Zef how to make it, but you know how my man is. He fell asleep. So then me and Mazza was just making bare beats and then one of the beats were less lurk, innit? And he woke up to it, he was like, yeah, just jump out and sir. Then they got sent over to 6-7 and then they done the thing. And then after, yeah, man's not hot and that. Obviously it went platinum. I got the plaques and everything, so. Yeah, and these people saying I didn't make the beat, but it's the, it's the same beat. Let's look, so, yeah, and obviously I just, for some reason, the artist wanted a different version, for some reason, like, man just redone another version to it, you get me? And that done well, you get me? I got a couple, few people shouting at me for that, from that song and that, so, I appreciate the thing still. Oh, bro, the speed that this drill's going at the moment will turn into dubstep, fam, but, I don't know, someone's out there, if you know, if you're, Listen, if you're if you're watching this interview and you're a drill producer and you're up on comments, just try to change it innit, a little bit, innit? Cause uh, only a few drill producers out here have a certain sound. The rest sound all the same, innit? I don't even know who's who, some of them. But like you, you man are doing your things, innit? Like, like some of you man are making some wavy beats at some young age, like so. I don't know how they're gonna change their style, car. It's mad, like. Cause Quiet Pack came with his style, then everyone was with it and that. Then Asman, me, Mazza and LA and their man came with a sound. Now MK, M1, Sykes, 
came with their sound. So it was just, you just have to wait, innit? You just have to wait for who comes with a new sound and then who runs with it, kind of thing. If I could collab with one producer, yeah, it would be Metro Boom and stuff. But, like, man's just rate his beats, innit? Like, you get me? Uh, like, proper like his beats still. So, I need to be better than Metro, so. Still, yeah. No, one day I wanna get skept on a wavy with them still, can't I? First of all, these rappers will come and throw papers at you and that. Like, I don't know, some of them know what they're doing, some of them don't even know what they're doing, they're just throwing the paper at you, just telling you to sign and that. Make sure you read what you, like, make sure you read what you sign and you know what you're reading or what you're about to sign, innit? And, yeah. And some other producers need to fucking value themselves, isn't it? Like, you can't be giving out exclusives at like £40. I don't care if I'm coming or like, uh, you need to know your value. You get me? You get me? Shout out Mixtape Madness for the interview, you get me? For taking care of the producers. It's, I like that still. Uh, yeah. if, you, if, you need, if you need some beats, just hit me up on the gram, innit? Got you, know? you get me? Work something out, innit? Snapchat got you on the